guys, I am back again for part three of my series on us building our vacation home back in um, the Virgin Islands on St. John's. So if you're new here, I've been documenting our journey so far as far as how we bought land and how we are building our home. So if you haven't watched part one or part two, definitely check those out. I'm going to link it either here or here. Um, and if you can go back and look at that, but don't leave now, stay with me. Um, but anyways, we are actually headed down to St. Thomas today in a couple hours. Um, we are going for a much needed break with the kids. It's spring break and we're taking them down there. We're going to check on the land and we don't have a whole lot going on as far as building progress. But since our last video when I where I talked about the plans, um, <clears throat> I said the next step was to submit the plans to our homeowners association and we haven't done that yet but we will do that this week. I need to get in contact with the HOA and see who I need to submit the plans to because I don't know how it works. It's our first time doing this so I don't know if there's like a specific building committee or what. Um, so not a plan agenda for this trip. It's spring break. We're just going to kind of go with the flow, um, maybe go out to eat, get some good things to eat, spend time with our parents, go to the beach, um, things like that. So I thought I would take you guys along with me and then maybe we can talk about the HOA process while we're there. And um, but anywho, I am packing some snacks for the kids so that they have um, some things to eat. Cheez-Its while they're on the um, airplane, um, but we are about to head out. to do a few activities but I decided to come on real quickly to let you guys know what we've been up to since we've been here we've been to the beach um, and dining and just chilling out with family but most importantly we um, completed a major milestone in the project um, so after we got our plans back and if you haven't seen my video on um, all the whole process with the architectural plans and everything please check it out I'm gonna link it right here above um, but when we got the plans back um, there is a requirement of our HOA to submit it to them before we pull any permits so that's what we did yesterday which I think it's a huge milestone in the process I'm super excited um, so in the Virgin Islands it's not common to have an HOA <clears throat> Um, there's not a whole lot of HOAs. Um, usually there's just plots that you buy, plots of land, and then you just apply for your permits directly right after that, after you get your plans. Um, but where we bought this land, we actually have an HOA that is, um, the, the land is part of an HOA. So there was a requirement to submit the plans there. Um, to them, I would say. So we did that yesterday and um, the there is a building committee um, that is going to review those plans and um, so we submitted those to the building committee and they said that they will get back to us within two weeks to let us know that or to let us know if the plans have been approved um, and I believe the guy said that they're not looking for things like um, floor plan or anything like that they just wanted to make sure that we're following the building code as um, required by the HOA making sure that we're not building anything that maybe is four or five stories high making sure that we have enough parking on the property things like that they're going to be looking for um, so he said the process is pretty straightforward um, but I thought it would be helpful to explain that because it's not a common thing to have an HOA in the Virgin Islands um, we do have one we were not looking for a property with the HOA but it just happened to be a situation that we're in um, and I don't think it's a bad thing um, there are a lot of things with the HOA um, a lot of rules but I think that they're good things to put in place to make sure that the neighborhood 
is being up kept um, and all of that. So super excited. Um, so once we hear back from the HOA that our plans have been approved and that everything is according to um, their building code, we will move forward um, on pulling permits so that we can start the excavation. Um, but right now we are headed back over to St. John and then going to get something to eat later. So stay tuned because I'm going to take you guys along with me so that you know where to eat or maybe a couple suggestions of where to eat if you do decide to come to St. John pretty soon. See y'all later. to jump from. So we're about to head out for lunch now. Um, today we're gonna try a new barbecue place in town on Island. It's not the normal barbecue place that we go to. And on St. John, there's not a whole lot of barbecue options, um, but this one just opened while we we're here this week. So we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, so stay tuned. Hey babes, yeah. come get a close please. So we're leaving from my dad's house. Um, many roads on the island are paved. Um, unfortunately, this one isn't. It hasn't been for years, but it's just something that you get used to. Um, that's why it's very important to have at least uh, all wheel or four wheel drive something, a truck, something that can get in up and down hills that are not paved because you just never know when you are going to be driving somewhere and you have to go up a dirt road. So it's pretty bumpy. So this is the owner. She is running the business on the grill, just doing it all, <laughs> making sure that that chicken, the ribs are right. Um, they're Love City Barbecue. Um, they're really close, actually in Cruz Bay, um, close to the fire station. Um, that's my mom. She's getting her food. Yeah, that's my mama. Um, she actually got the steak um, and potato salad mac and cheese coleslaw the steak was very tender and i got the ribs with mac and rice All 
All right, so it's dinner time. Usually for dinner, um, when we're back home, we either just get something at home, but most, hey, that's my cousin. <laughs> most of the times we are heading to Cruise Bay um, to either pick something new or something that we traditionally get. Um, this time we are going to uh, Lovango Rum Bar. It's our actually second time um, to this place. It's, it hasn't been um, open for years and years. I believe maybe a couple months or maybe a year. I'm not too sure. But um, when I was growing up on St. John, it was not here. I know that for sure. Um, so I'm heading up these stairs. It's actually upstairs um, by the bay in Cruise Bay. So it's a pretty, pretty good view. Um, so let's see. Yes, Lovango Rumba. <laughs> um, so we didn't have a reservation. So hopefully we get a seat. So y'all, I just like the vibe of this whole place. I like how it's decorated, really the whole ambiance of the place. Like I said, it's our second time here. Um, the first time you were here with um, family and we sat outside, there is an indoor and outdoor seating area. Um, this time we asked to be outside, so she's gonna find us some, a table outside. Um, the drinks are great here. The salads are great. Pizza is great. Um, I also have some wings that are amazing. Um, so like I said, it's a great location. And Peter and I are just going to just talk about our plans for the building and what we have going forward and enjoying the rest of the night. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.